how are you feeling about running it all? Um, a bit nervous. We've not really seen it do that amount of power, have we? So the fridge is on. And the freezers are on. This 149 watts is the fridge and the freezers and some lights. So we recently installed a air conditioning unit. We've got so much excess solar in the summer. I've decided to spoil Rachel, seeing she's going to be here with two screaming children, to this wonderful air conditioning unit. It's not using as much as I thought it would be. So this this um, actually has a heat function on it, um, where it uses um, more power. So I think we're going to switch it to heat. It's a really gradual burn, if you like. It's it's sort of warming up very very slowly. So we're going to put the washing machine on and the tumble dryer on now. Right, um, so washing machine first then. Tumble dryer gonna go on now. So this is nervous bread making because of uh, running everything. doing when you're using some stuff it starts having internal error alarms going off and also when it's been cold it's been doing it early hours of the morning before anything's been on so the fact that we're putting everything on is making it is, is testing it a bit I suppose what I need to do is have a look up in the top and see what's going on in case something's going wrong up there That's making a little bit more noise than usual because it's actually working. But it's not a lot of loads at the moment. Obviously it clicks in and out because of what we're doing. You know, heating water uh, with washing machines and um, tumble dryers coming in and out. And there we go again. There's the battery, red light on it. An alarm and a red light. And there we go again. So it could be that one battery that keeps on sending off the same rotten alarm. They're nearly doing 6,000 watts there. This is a bit louder now. So really, by the time we've switched the oh, we've jumped up more. We're over 6,000 then. So by the time we put a kettle on, we'll be just about where we want to be. That's if our batteries don't blow up or something goes wrong with them. Done it again since we're up there, and I saw what battery it was. That's doing it. Interesting. Need to get the software up there and see yeah. what's going on. Are we boiling the kettle? Right. <laughs> no, I'm generally shitting myself because of what the situation. Well, we don't have to do it. I can do, but I just I'd like to do it just to check. I'm really quite nervous about this now, but I'm going to try it anyway. So uh, we'll see what happens. So we're nearly at 6,000 watts at the moment. Over 6,000 watts now. So. Or, have a go. Eight, eight and a half thousand watts, just over. Might get a, a battery alarm come on in a minute. Okay, so we're running two chest freezers, a fridge, a bread maker, an air con that's heating the room and it's getting very warm in here, a kettle. Uh, are we missing anything? We've got lights on up there as well now. Lights on in here. That's a lot of stuff to have on. All at the same time. Generally you don't run that much at the same time. I've got a bit of faith in what we've done. There's nothing, everything seems all right up there. It's just the batteries. It's you know, that'd have been fine. The nerve wracking bit was, I think the batteries. The batteries, I just, 
Oh, they're so frustrating. They're just such frustrating things. I must, I've got to look into it, what's going on. Yeah, nuisance. This will upset the pylon tech lot again. So if you want to know more about our storage capacity, uh, check the link above.